All right, this is my Crossman 1377 air pistol, 177 caliber. Tiny little pallets, which I don't expect will do much, but I'm curious to see what happens. So let's find out. Starting up with five pumps. Okay, so with five pumps, it's only got enough power to embed itself in the flesh. Here it is, all flattened. And didn't do a whole lot. The undead would just shrug that off, obviously. And 10 pumps. Let's see what that does. Probably flattened, but it's not much. Well, actually, there is a little bit of damage here. It's so kind of dented it. And now let's see what a tactical pen can do. This one is made by Schrade, and I don't think this has been tested on one of these heads before, so it'll be interesting. Will you stop messing with me, son? <sighs> okay, so. It's got the striking tip right here, as you can see. Flat there, so you can put the thumb on there. Stop changing the lighting conditions! Okay, <laughs> yeah, I'm shouting at the sun. That's, that's what I do. I'm professional. So, and I figured I'd let this guy here do it because he has experience practicing ninjutsu. So, it's kind of the right person for the job. Here, have at it. The amount of shock that I felt from that blow was substantial. I have to say, I actually expected it to go into the skull, but it, it didn't even... Like, the, the skull still seems skull to be still solid. Seems to be intact. So, I mean, there could be, like, a, a little fracture, but it did not make it through, so... Interesting. So it's the usual problem with the spherical skull, it just likes to deflect things. It's almost like it, it evolved to protect us well, somehow. <laughs> almost. It doesn't seem to phase him. Actually, I think I'll strike it this way, because I have a feeling that if I get it with the edge here, even though it would be more effective the way the grain goes, I think I would probably break off this corner here. So, I'm just going to start out with that side. <clears throat> well, it doesn't matter, apparently. <laughs> from breaking, it just, it just absorbed too much energy. I, d I don't think it had enough left to, to actually damage him. So it didn't really bother the zombie terribly much we've got some glass shards here and there, but the skull still seems to be fine. I mean... This is why, kids, you do not copy the movies. Yes. 